uh, is my mean, and they tell me that my mean is 63.1. Remember that that means that it's mu. And then my standard deviation, 4.8, that's sigma. And if I want to draw a graph, then I'm going to go three of these sigmas away from 63. So I'm going to add 4.8 each time, and I'm going to do that three times. So first of all, just to draw my picture on my paper, I'm going to go with 63.1 plus 4.8, and that gives me 67.9. And then if I go another standard deviation, so I add another 4.8, that gives me 72.7. Point seven. If I go another standard deviation, which I my graph doesn't do a very good job of illustrating, I get 77.5. And of course I can go the other way. Three standard deviations. So I could go with 63.1 minus 4.8, and I get 58.3. And then I could subtract off 4.8 again and I get 53.5. If I subtract off 4.8 one more time, I get 48.7. And all this is doing is showing you a window that when you graph it, you can see just about everything. Don't forget that the mean is right there. And what they want to know in this piece of information is what proportion represents the runners between 70 and 60, or 60 and 70. So I don't know exactly where that is looking at this picture. I mean, it looks like 60 is somewhere in here, and 70 is somewhere in here, and I want this stuff. So there's the shaded amount. Because 60 is somewhere between 58 and 63, and 70 is between 67.9 and 72.7. Now, that doesn't really help me with the next couple of questions, though, like what proportion. So the word proportion, remember, means the same as percent or area. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this thing on your calculator. So if you want to flip back and look at the reference about how to put this in your y equals goes kind of like this. So you hit the y equals button, and then you want to get something that says normal PDF. So I go second. My second button is that yellow button. And then I want to go vars. And the VARS button's right here, right near the blue buttons, the arrow buttons. So I go VARS. And the normal PDF is the very first thing, so all you have to do is hit Enter. And then once you hit Enter, you're going to enter in the letter X, which is right next to your alpha button on the left-hand side of your calculator. And then you're going to type in a comma. And then you're going to type in the mean. What was the mean for this particular problem? 63.1? Yeah? Okay. I'm trusting you. I, I don't know. Comma. And the standard deviation was? 4.8. Thank you. Enter. What do you think I should do next for this problem? And when I say think, that means you don't have to be right. And if you're not thinking, then you're brain dead. What do you think we should do next? Sorry? You could go to second bars and press draw. That's one thing that we're going to do later. That's not what I want to do right now, though. Go to the window. That's what I'm going to do next. And I want to go to the window because if I go like, Zoom six, and I look at this, and I don't see anything happening. 
And the reason I don't see anything happening is because when we talked about this earlier, I told you that you have to have a certain window, right? So if I go into my window, this window is crap. My smallest value for x should be three standard deviations below the mean. We already learned that in this problem, that was 48.7. Now, the funny thing is, watch this. I don't have to type in 48.7. I could do, what was our mean? 63.1 minus 3 times 4.8. Boom. <coughs> It'll do it for me. I can go 63.1 plus 3 times 4.8. Boom. It does it for me. I don't actually have to calculate that. I can just type in the junk and I'm good. My y minimum is always, always negative 0.1, and my y maximum is always 0.3. And then hit graph. Now, if your graph doesn't show up looking like mine, it's because your plots are on. It's because you have some crap in another y equals. It's because you're not in the right mode. I will help you with that later. So this is what mine looks like. Do you like that curve? Does it look really nice? No. No? What about if I would have done this? Do you like that better? No? What if I um what if I did this? Do you like that better? What am I doing? Kind of zooming. I'm changing my window a little bit so that the difference between the top and the bottom is not so great. So I could change that even more. Like I could even go down here and make this so it becomes more pronounced. It doesn't really matter, okay? What I'm trying to tell you is, you can see in your window, but it's not as good as doing it by hand. Like, what's, what sucks about this graph? You can't see the numbers. It's ridiculous. So that's why I do it by hand first anyways. Okay, so anyways, this is how you would graph it. Now I'm going to show you the next part. So the next part says, what proportion weigh between 60 and 70? It actually asks for the proportion. So here's the proportion. What proportion weigh between 60 and 70? So now we're going to go to our calculator. <clears throat> and I already have my picture. See it? Now I want you to go second, vars, draw. You should see the phrase shade norm. Enter. What's the smallest value I want to start at? 60, because I want to start at 60, comma, I want to go up to 70. My mean was 63.1, and my standard deviation was 4.8. So this is telling my calculator, look, go back to that picture we just put in for the y equals. Start at 60, go to 70, shade it, and I'm going to tell you that my mean and standard deviation are these two things, and then I hit enter. And the cool thing is, not only is it going to shade what they're talking about, but down at the bottom, they're also going to tell you what the proportion, area, or percentage is that was shaded. Awesome. Okay, so that part, I always use a calculator for. Love it. So 0.6655. And we used for that, oh, that's not a good color, sorry. We used shade norm 60, 70, 63.1, comma, 4.8. 
and that equaled 0.6655. Or you could have written 66.55%. Whenever you do this less than thing, and that's all they tell you is less than, what's the smallest weight you could be? Zero. So this bottom number is zero. Otherwise, it's the same problem. 